Say hi. Hello. Today, my mommy is back with another video. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so I am back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in and hitting that play button. Before we hop into the video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. Don't forget to thumbs up this video as well. But today I'm going to be doing the third installment from the Juvia's Place Mini Palette Collection. Today I'm going to be focusing on the Violets Palette, um, which I used every color in here but one. And I only didn't use this one color because I feel like I've done numerous of looks using this tone of violet before. And it's this one right here. Um, so I didn't use that one, but I used every other shade in here. Um, for the eyes, I didn't use any other palettes um, to create this look. I did use a little bit of face powder just for like some blending. Other than that, all the shadows are from this palette. Um, yeah, I don't want to make this intro too long. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, also, make sure you guys check out my earrings. These are a pair that is available on the site as well. So if you have not checked out my site already, check this out so you can get some earrings. I do offer free shipping to the US. I also just released my multi-purpose goat milk and honey soap as well for you guys to check out. If you haven't already, my ebook is on there and my natural hair consultation consultations are still on there as well. So make sure you guys check all of that out. Links for everything will be down below as well as all the products that I use throughout the video. Links for all of those items will be down below if you guys are interested in checking them out for yourselves. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs> So let's jump right in. I'm going in with uh, the Violets palette and I'm the first shade I'm going to be using is that very light lavender shade and I'm using that as my transition color. I was highly skeptical about using this as a transition color but it ended up coming all together. Next I'm going to go in with that deeper shade of purple just to define my crease um, a little bit more and just add a little bit of depth to the look. And I'm kind of bringing that in about two-thirds of the way. Next, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 11. And I'm just going to apply that to my lid and cut my crease. You guys have seen this trick before, um, but that's kind of how I usually cut my crease for me. Um, and I just pat that in with a very flat concealer brush to get the shape that I want. shimmery satin purple shade and I'm gonna apply that next to the dark shade that I used in that outer V area and just apply that in a packing motion all the brushes that I'm using in this video are mostly from Morphe Cosmetics um, so I'm just using that to pat in that um, very um, nice purple from the palette I love this purple it's so pretty I can't wait to the summertime I'm gonna use it all over my lid Next, I'm going to go in with the shade next to that, which is kind of like a purpley bronze shade almost. And I'm just going to apply that next to that um, and just blend it in so there aren't like harsh lines. I'm kind of blending them into each other. But packing it on as well because I want this shade to really show up as well. But it looks so pretty next to each other actually. Now I'm going to go in with that lightest shade, Lavender. It's almost like the matte shade, but in a satin. Um, and I'm just going to apply that into the very um, inner portion of my eye. And just pack that on as well. You do kind of have to pack this color on a little bit. It might have worked 
better with my finger, but I wasn't going to be able to get into that little area with just my finger. Now I'm going in back with that deep purple and just really define that crease um, where I cut it at just so that it's very defined. I don't know why I went this route, but I did and I still like how it turned out. So I just went in with a smaller crease brush and just really defined that cut crease. And then I go in and just blend it out just so it's not too, too harsh. Just, just blend it out a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner in line my top lash line and do a slight wing. I usually do a thin wing because my eyes are very small. I kind of have like hooded lids, so I don't really like to do a very thick liner unless I'm only wearing a liner. So I'm going to go in with that. And now I'm going to apply my lashes. Um, I apply them off camera, but you'll see them on a little bit later. Um, now I'm going in with the Stila One Step Correct primer and I'm actually just using this one just to kind of use it up and I'm gonna go in I apply my lashes off camera like I said and then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara just to blend that in now I'm gonna go in and set my primer with the black opal finishing powder in dark um, I actually like this trick and I actually like it a lot in the summer as well when I don't want to wear any foundation. Just apply a little bit of primer or your color corrector and literally just set your face with powder. But for this I'm just using this to set my primer. Now I'm going to go over that with my new Evolution foundation. I believe this shade is 204 and I'm just going to apply that all over my skin and blend that out with my damp beauty blender. You guys know I love this foundation. The coverage is just so beautiful. Um, the shade range is obviously could be worked on nonetheless. The shade, if you can find your shade from the very select um, amount of shades that they do have, pick this up. It's really, really great and it's, it gives you really good coverage, honestly. Next, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 11, and I'm just going to highlight in the high points of my face, nose, uh, forehead, under my eyes, and my chin area, and I'm going to go in with contour with the number 4 shade from the I Am Magic um, foundation, or concealer, sorry. And I'm just blending that in with kind of like a contour brush, and I'm going to Kind of blend that out a little bit later with my beauty blender after I blend out this um, concealer. And I've been liking to apply my concealer not right underneath my lash line but a little below that and then work it up. That's kind of how I've been liking to apply it recently. Um, so and that's kind of been working for me instead of just starting right at my lower lash line. I feel like sometimes if I do that um, it'll crease on me so yeah so now I'm gonna go in and set my under eye concealer with the black opal finishing powder in medium you guys know this is like my holy grail powder I try out I've been trying out a bunch of different powders and you guys seen in some of my previous videos but this powder just just works so I kind of go back to it pretty often and I'm gonna just gonna dust away that excess powder I didn't want to um, Now I'm going to go in with the Steeler Liner in Purple Tank. Now I'm going to go in with that deep purple shade and I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out very lightly. I didn't smoke it out very much but this will be great to smoke out the lash line like heavy. So pretty. Now I'm going to go in with the New Evolution Powder Foundation and just set my entire face with this. This, this powder is so bomb guys. Like. I really wish they had more colors because their 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 product is really really nice. Anyway, now I'm gonna go in with the Black Radiance Contour Palette and use that darker shade to obviously set my contour and just really define my cheeks in this video. I kind of went a little OD, but it looks good at the end of the day. Now my blush, I forgot the name of this blush, but I will have it down below. It's one of the Juvia's Places um, single single blushes. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Heroin Glow um, Highlighter and I'm just going to pop that on the high points of my cheeks. I didn't do, I didn't do too much. I, didn't, I don't like a bright highlight. You guys know that. And then I'm going to go in and apply it to the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do this first lip, but you guys will see I, I was not feeling it at the end of the day. So I ended up changing it. 
but this was the ColourPop um, um, liquid lipstick in Softy. But I'm actually gonna take that off and I'm gonna go in with a ColourPop liquid lippy, not liquid, this is one of their lippy sticks. Again, I forgot the name of the shade, but again, I will have all the shades listed down below. And that is it for the look, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. This came out super pretty, super bomb, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Hello, mom. Hello, guys. Today, thanks for watching mommy's video. That's what you want to say? Uh huh. And thanks for you search down below and make sure you should subscribe bye guys <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>